Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do our March 23rd Spiritual Principle Day in a meditation. How are you doing? I'm about the same. A little rough around the edges. Hey, the title of this meditation, Gratitude for Our Common Solution. Gratitude and a sense of wonder change our perception. That comes from the Guiding Principles book, Tradition One, for members. You're still alive, she said, sounding well surprised. It can be a bit of a shock to find one of our old running mates in the rooms of N.A. I mean, I've seen this thing work for lots of addicts, but you, <laughs> you were hardcore. We puff up as our selective memory kicks into gear. I mean, bloody heck, you were a mess, love. But look at you now. Your mom must be so happy to have you back. We feel another surge of pride. This time for our recovery. The jolt of seeing someone who knew us when reminds us that we've come a long way. It's also a good reminder of just how incredible this program is and how it really can work for any addict. No matter what drugs we took or where using took us, there's help available in NA. Embracing this perspective makes it easier to set aside our differences and consider our common welfare first. Humility helps us see ourselves simply as members in a community of equals. Our gratitude speaks when we welcome the newer member who made it to the rooms by way of a different route than the one we took. Regardless of how obvious or how well hidden our act of addiction had been, we found the same solution in Narcotics Anonymous. If NA can work for me, it can work for anybody, our hardcore addict responds. I didn't want it to, but I am so grateful that I proved myself wrong. As we listen to each other's stories, we're reminded that NA is for any addict. When we tell our own, we remember where we came from and get glimpses of where we were headed. Letting go of our reservations about membership, our own and others, makes it easier to surrender to the unity called for in our first tradition. With gratitude for the solution that can work for any addict who has the desire to stop using, we put unity first. We focus on what matters. This simple program that changes lives. Our gratitude for what the program has done for us as individuals is amplified when we think of NA's transformative power in the lives of recovering addicts around the world. I will reflect on my journey with gratitude today and take time to revel in awe-inspiring diversity and expanding reach of this fellowship. Beautiful. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of serenity prayer. A moment of silence now, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. Yeah, when I think about this meditation, I, I think this is um, this is really how it goes, isn't it? We are always running into people, or at least I am, that I knew back from the days, right? When I was in high school or 
and we look at each other and we're like, what? You were getting high? <laughs> That's funny. How'd you end up in this program? And we just tell our little stories and it's amazing. It's amazing that this program can benefit so many people with so many stories to tell, so many, um, I'm going to say so many, but with various pro uh, backgrounds, um, I think it's interesting. I get a kick out of it when I run into people that I know from maybe even days before I began actively using. And they'll say, well, you use drugs? Oh, no, not you. <laughs> and I just giggle. It's like, well, if you could, why would you think that I wouldn't? I mean, right? And then we tell our stories and we don't always maintain contact on a daily basis or even a yearly basis, but it's always nice to run into someone, I think. Not everyone has that view though, right? Not everyone wants to run into someone they know. Um, but this is a gift. This is a program where we can Whew, just relax and say, you know what? Madness has stopped. Do you feel that way? Do you have your own story of people that you've run into in, in the program that knew you or that you knew while you were using or before you were using and you both have come so far? Do you have your own story to tell? It's true. It's it's something that creates like a sweet, joyful spirit inside of my heart when I think about that. The, the people that I went to school with that I think about that are in this program or that I've met in the program and realize that we both were struggling with so much and never knew it. It's really nice not to be in that closet of the disease of addiction anymore and to be able to have gratitude today for our common solution. I want you thinking about that. And I want you thinking about some of the people maybe you run into that are no longer coming to meetings. If you have their number, try to reach out to them. There's a lot of things going on. There's a major shooting over in Russia, in Moscow, yesterday. Lots of devastation. And it's like a war zone sometimes in our own heads. Lots of devastation. But you know what? We have the key to our self-made prisons in our own back pocket. And we can access recovery, spiritual principles, generally other human beings at any time, unless there's a lockdown and a shutdown due to a pandemic, we can access recovery anytime we want to. We don't have to hide in basements right now for meetings. We're very, very fortunate. So let your gratitude speak when you care and when you share the NA way, reveling in, what? Reveling in our inspiring diversity and expanding the reach of this fellowship, reveling in our common solution, simply put, that we have found in Narcotics Anonymous. Have a beautiful day on purpose. I'm about to get into that international meeting and enjoy it. You take care of yourself. Talk to you tomorrow.